everyone, and welcome in to the first Spelunk Through ever. We are spelunking through one of my all-time favorite games, Chrono Cross. Chrono Cross is the spiritual successor to Chrono Trigger, the all-time great game. I play with vibration off just because it's not necessary. Um, and uh, it's I don't ever change the name of anyone. It is always and forever Surge. Always and forever everyone else. And let's just enjoy. I will be with you through the entirety of this game. And I love it. I love it to death. It is a hidden gem. It should be bigger. It was made by a superstar team. Not as superstar as Chrono Trigger. But a superstar team nonetheless. From Square. And... It should have gotten more press than it did. And it really bothers me that it didn't. But here we go. Oh, I should get this kid. And this, in this beginning scene, you always have Surge, you always have the blonde haired girl, and it's a random person in the story that you run into as the third. It's always different. What is it, Surge? You look troubled. This is it. There's no turning back now. Oi! Come on, Sage! Man! Just you wait, Lynx. Today's gonna be the day of reckoning. Say your prayers. Not that it'll do you any good. I'm not gonna laugh here. <laughs> Serge! Alright, well, what's going on here? What are we doing? Where, where are we? Looks like a little dragon temple. And yeah, this game has a very unique combat system, which I absolutely adore. So let's show you what it is. And it's not random combat, which was flying in the face of every other RPG, really, at the time. This is PlayStation 1. So Final Fantasy was random battle encounter, or random encounter battles. So you have your three, and then you have your enemies. And let's talk about how the auto attack system works. So you have attack, element, defend, and obviously run away. Defend, defense. And then if you look underneath Surge's name, you have a stamina meter, along with a level, a little gauge there, his health bar, and then stamina bar. So each attack has a different percentage next to it. That means the hit percentage, as you can see there. The top one is a light attack. The second one is a medium attack. And the third one is a heavy attack. Now each one fills up that other gauge on your on the bottom. The light attack, shown with a one next to it, fills up one level. The two is two levels, and the three is three levels at once. So if you go to your element then, this is like casting spells, so there's no mana, and you fill out this gauge. So obviously at the far left, you have your weakest spells, and at the far right, you have your more powerful spells. As you can see, some of these have a minus one, so Ice Lance is generally placed at this one, or Cure Plus One is generally placed at the first one, so you weaken it by putting it lower on the scale or strengthen it by moving it up. And then you have an innate, innate color. Each character has an innate color. Surge is white, so he is stronger in using these ones. Whereas Kid, which is the girl right down there, she's red, and I believe Van is white as well, which is unlucky for me. But when you use them, it affects the field, so we'll see here. I'll use Photon Beam. So you see the white all around Surge there as he casts this. Does 92, and now if you look in the top left, you have a field effect. It has three colors on it. Now I'm colorblind, so I can't really tell the difference between the green and the yellow. So that's something we'll have to 
stumble through together. But as you can see, the furthest out is red. So that will be the one that will be bumped out when I use one. Again. And then you have, I believe that's yellow. And then white. If the field effect is all one color, it strengthens the the element that you're using. So if it's all white, that photon beam would have done massive damage. As you can see, I had an 83% chance to hit. Didn't hit. That's something else that's very annoying. But I love. So instead of up to 5 like I had with Surge, because Surge hit everything, Kid is at a 4. So I can't use... I can't even move over to that final area. But... What's interesting... And I'll talk about this when I get back to Surge. Is... Kid doesn't have what's called a technique. So we'll see if Van has a technique. And each character has a different weapon. So Kid has daggers, Surge has what's called Swallow, and Van has a boomerang. Let's see if Van has a technique. Yeah. Oh, killed him. Alright, I guess we won't see. But at three, I think it's three, five, and eight. Eight. Every character has a technique that's unique to them. And you don't have experience either. There's no experience bar filling up or not. After each battle, you get a different level up. And then after boss fights, well, we'll see later. But after boss fights, your element gauge increases. So let's just take a peek here. This is pause screen. Allocate search. So what I was talking about with techniques... Right there, dash and slash. It's a technique. Only Surge knows this, and as you can tell, it's grayed out. I cannot remove it from him. If you look on Kid... Voice crack. If you look on Kid, see, nothing there. Interesting. If we look on Van... He has one as well. So, see, he's not white. I thought he was white. He's... I want to say green? Oh, no. I think that's green. But... You know, interesting stuff. So that tells you something that Kid will probably be a major player in the story. We'll see. I don't, we don't know yet. But in this first area, and as you'll see as we go through the game and through other games on my channel, I love items. I love treasure chests. I love it all. But in this first area, it doesn't matter. And we'll, and um, it'll show you why when we're through. So... But that's a quick little explanation as to um, the battle system. And we'll go through it more and more as we go into this game. I love it. It's the I, in, it's one of the best battle systems, in my opinion. I love it. And the leveling up is great. Because there is no leveling up. Like, you can't see, oh, I'm level 88, so I should just waltz right through here. There's none of that. Uh, let's show off uh, Dash and Slash a little bit here. Just so we can all see the slicey goodness that Surge has. And then there are stats. The better your weapon, the better the stats you get, and the higher attack. But when you get it interrupted like that on your auto attack, the percentages change back to less than what it was when you first started the combat. So that's a little interplay you have with different enemies. Um, so here we go with Dash and Slash. It should be stronger than that because he has a pretty strong weapon right there. Oh my goodness, kid. And these guys are stronger than what they are in this part. Yeah, this game was really the first RPG I ever played, if you don't count Pokemon. I, this is the first JRPG I went through, again, if you don't count Pokemon. It was like the first one that like my, my brother thought I could handle when I was younger, because he's a huge RPG guy. And it's the first one I ever beat. Alright, here we go. 
Will this be a premonition? Is this just some random thing happening? We'll see. Uh-oh. Hypersonic speed up. Oh, good. I thought we were going to get splattered against that thing. That would have been a quick end to this game. Well, that's it for this uh, series. Oi, what the bloody hell just happened? What are we doing out here? Man, my Australian accent. I'm so sorry to all the Australians out there. Wow. Booger. What's the way I am? Is this thing floating? Did it feel like your body just passed through the floor just now? This sure is some fort. Hey, Sage. How do you know my name? You all right, mate? You've been acting all weird. Who knows what's up ahead? So just stay on your toes, eh? Again, I'm sorry, Australians. That's the best I can do. I do have favorite characters in this game. I will point them out as we go through. Ooh. Big heartbeat. And I don't want... I, I, I want to stress this. This is PlayStation 1. These are PlayStation 1 CGI screens. Uh-oh. Wait, why are we holding a knife? And why is the kid on the ground? And why are we smiling? Well, that can't be good. But that CGI from PlayStation 1, and it was towards the end of the PlayStation 1, but not really? Because this was 98, I want to say. Good morning, Surge! Come on, sleepyhead, get up! I don't wanna. It's Saturday. the music in this game in my opinion second to none well that must have been a very weird dream ah. all right get these old bones up and moving all righty Rue here we go so I have control now let's take a look Wait, where's Kid and where's Van? Where's all my elements? There are consumables in the game to heal. It's not just elements to heal. Tablets are the lowest of the low. Um, I don't generally use them unless I need to fill out the element bar. There's the stats. So hit percentage, obviously you want that as high as possible. And Surge is kind of an all-arounder. As you can tell with the strength and the resistance and then his magic stat is kind of low. There are ones that have high magic, low magic, some that are just bad. But let's check here. Surge took out his secret savings. All right, 200 G. No, not 200,000. Would you like to rest? Eh, not now. I just woke up. But I do like it when it's dark. So, there. This is more of a let's play than a walkthrough. I'm not going to be getting every item. I'm not going to be... I'm going to try and get every tech for every character, though. And I've just glossed over this. Let's talk to Mom again here. Weren't you supposed to meet Lena this morning? Who's Lena? Hurry along now and go apologize to her. Don't expect me to stick up for you if Lena ever decides to blow you off. Wouldn't want that, right? She'd never do that. My, aren't we confident? If only you could keep it up. Keep what? Keep what up? My confidence? Waking up? Who knows? Uh-oh. Let's just soak in the music for a little bit. Oh, man, this music is fantastic. All right, let's see. 
talk to... Let's talk uh, to some locals, huh? Yo, Surge, what do you think of this sawfish? Have you ever seen one this size? Ha! This has got to be from the legendary Dragon King Palace. Wouldn't you agree, Surge? You're probably right. Yeah, let's not crush his dreams. You think so, too? I knew it! I just knew it! If it really is true, then from here on out, happiness will be rolling into my life. Business will pick up, money will start pouring in, I'll be able to repair my roof, varnish my boat, buy a new sail, eat as much squid gut pasta as I want up in Termina. Ugh. Ah, life is good. Yeah, right. Who am I kidding? That would definitely be too good to be true. Thanks anyway, Serge. <laughs> Thanks for playing along. Here's a little something for you. Give it to a girl you like. Surge received Komodo scale without lifting a finger. All right. Wish the legend was true, though. Dragon King Palace. There aren't enough dreams out there lately. Can't even say that again. Let's talk to you. Sergi, check out this sawfish. Awesome, ain't it? Poppy caught it. Poppy? Oh, well. Uh, Poppy caught it down south by the El Nido Triangle. Nobody likes going down there, though. They all say it's creepy. But this sucker sure looks tasty. I've never had swordfish. Is it tasty? I don't know. What's going on in here? Oh, that's home. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. And I'll try to do this with as few edits as possible, just so everybody can get the same... So we can get, like, a uninterrupted view of what this game is like. Hey, who's out there? Is that Lena? What are you doing? Hey, Lena! Lena! Hello! Alright, well. This is my house. Enter at your own risk. Good morning, Serge. Don't tell me you just woke up. Don't you know that the early bird gets the worm? Lena's over there on the pier. Looks like her mother asked her to babysit. Eh. Hi, kitty! Aw, thank you. You used to cry and run away at the mere sight of a pussycat. Do you remember? When you were about knee high, you were attacked by a panther demon. I guess it left an emotional scar. But it's good that you've overcome that fear. Girls will think you're a weenie running away from cats. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! I'm out of here. I don't have to be rude. Come on, Granny. Now, yeah, what's going on over here? So this is interesting. May, uh, important characters have portraits, as you've probably seen so far. Yuna? She never comes up again. Yo, Sergi, I heard you totally blew off Lena this morning. I didn't think you had it in I didn't think you had it in you. That was real gutsy of you. Guess that kinda shows her who's boss, eh? Don't tell her I said so, but my sister's a bit uptight, you know. Could you like break her in a little? You know, make her act a little more ladylike? You have my support all the way. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. So she's Lena's little sister. D she never comes up again. I Alright, let's, uh, let's see what's going on in this house. Hello. Isn't my Celine cute? Daddy found her by Lizard Rock. A lot of baby Komodo dragons play out there. I guess it's kind of like their hangout. And you know what, Sergi? Don't tell anyone what I'm about to tell you, okay? It's a secret. Lolo said he was going to get me some Komodo dragon scales. Hee! What should I do? Thank him? Hello there, Serge. Word has it that Komodo dragon scales are quite popular among the youngins these days. So you're collecting them too, huh? What, to make a silly little necklace? That's right! <laughs> well said, Serge. You truly are a man of the sea. You don't call me the Komodo dragon expert for nothing. Let me give you some pointers. Clean out your ears and listen well, Serge. This is truly top secret. My super duper secret number one! Rock and roll to trap the sucker! My super duper secret number two! Use the lay of the land and make a surprise attack! My super duper secret number three! There is always one that likes to play tag! Run with all your might! Beware! 
These dragons are mighty cautious and run at high speeds. You must face them with your wits, courage, and tenacity. Use your lightning start and run like the wind. Whip past it with all your might. But I guess there's no point out running it. Anyhow, it's all about guts, my boy. So once you catch up to it, you must fight. Kick that little sucker's butt. But don't get your own butt kicked. <laughs> That's about all I can teach you about the ways of an expert. Now go, Surge. Go for the bold and bring... Go for the gold and bring forth a brighter tomorrow. Meh, sorry. That was weird. Thanks, I suppose. Hello. Do you know about Lizard Rock southwest of the village? I've heard that a Mother Komodo dragon comes out every once in a while. I've told Kiki numerous times not to play there, but she never listens to me. I guess kids will be kids. Okay, what's going on down here? Not a kitty cat. Looks like some fish bones. Fishing gear. Whoa, that's a big old fish. Hey, bud. Oh, uh, hi, Surge. I was lost in my thoughts there. You know how Kiki's growing up so quickly? Sometimes I'm just amazed at how much she resembles her mother. Yeah, I guess my wife is like that, too. She's been very much like her mother since as long as I can remember. I guess that demonstrates how life continues to live on for generations. It's been about 10 years since I became a fisherman. Back then, I still had other aspirations, but I ended up succeeding my dad. I guess you could say everything here represents 10 years of my life. Lion sharks, sawfish, six-horned narwhals, you name it. Whoa, six-horned narwhals. They represent all my hard work and dedication. I love my job, and I'm happy with my current lifestyle and all, but lately, I get to thinking when I see Kiki about how I could have had a different future if I had chosen a different path 10 years ago. Then I'd be living a completely different life than I am now. I'm not saying which one would have been better, but I just wonder where the other path may have led me. I guess the longer you live, the more you wonder about another you that might have been. Boy, life sure is complex. The multiverse? Oh, hey, sir, do you want this? Here, take it. It's an amulet I made from a lion shark tooth 10 years ago when I decided to become a fisherman. I don't think I need it anymore. I have my wife and Kiki watching over me. Aw, that's sweet. Surge received shark tooth. All right. Presents. That will be important to recruit a character later on. But as you can tell, there's kind of a theme building about time, timelines, all of that stuff. So, keep an eye on that. All right, what's going on over here, kiddo? Hey, Sergi, do you know what's popular among the village girls these days? A necklace made from Komodo dragon scales. You know, those monsters that eat fire. Oh, wait a minute, they eat fire? I want to get some for Kiki, but there's no way I can beat those monsters. Oh, no! If I don't do something about this now, Kiki might start liking Lolo. Boy, am I in a fix. W wait a minute. Sergi, is that a Komodo dragon scale? No way! Is it real? Uh, Sergi, how about giving it to me? Please? Pretty please? Oh, come on, Sergi. I won't ask for another favor for the rest of my life. Now, please? I'll sell it for 1,000 G. This kid doesn't have 1,000 G. What do we, what should I do? What should I do? Sure, take it. No way. Sell it for 1,000 G. I think it's gill, but it might be gold. I, I, I've always seen it both ways. But, yeah, let's give it to him. Give it to the kid. R really? Y you sure? Yes. All right. Thanks a million, Sergi. Here, let me give you this. Put it to good use, okay? All right. Oh, yeah. And one more thing. Do you know what Pochel's favorite food in the whole entire world is? Pepper and bones. She'd do anything to get her paws on one. She'd obey your every command if you ever give her one. Okay. Don't know who that is, but... Thanks. Oh, we're in a bar of some sort. So this won't fly. This would. This part right here would never fly in a game today. Hamana, hamana, hamana. She sure is pretty. What a knockout that dancer Miki is. The poor town of Termina has its share of dancers, but no one, I say, no one, compares to Miki. And mind you, I've never actually seen Miki dance. Oh, how I would love to see them jiggle. Or, I mean, talking about her arms, of course. Whoa, Serge, don't tell Grandma about this. Uh, I'm just gonna walk away. Yo, 
of search. Have you heard anything about them group of thieves up on the mainland? I think... I've heard this story. Yeah, I guess they're big news nowadays. I think they call themselves the Radical Dreamers. A bunch of show-offs. They're no different from psycho killers, as you could say. So many freaks out in the world these days. I guess it's just a sign of the times. Looks like the Viper Festival will be cancelled again this year. Our only celebration of El Nino Archipelago goes down the drain. There's nothing good to talk about since the army of poor took over the islands three years ago. We wouldn't have to put up with this situation if General Viper and the Dragoons were still here. But where'd they go? Hi, Doggy! Kind of. Not really, but okay. Doggy. Alright, fine. Uh, you. Chef man. You gonna talk to me? Tasty! Cha-cha-cha! Healthy! Cha-cha-cha! Why don't you try my Hecarin soup? That's my specialty. Soup made exclusively from Hecarin bones. Don't mean to brag, but nobody can make soup like I can. Cha ha ha! Huh. Huh. Why, hello, sir. Do you want to hear the real truth about the world? Insanity leads to chaos, then to solitude. The fruitless effort of adding meaning to what is meaningless. A lone crimson tear falls to the sea. The echo of the remaining star cries out in the infinite vacuum. The least I can do is send my distant prayers over the wind of time, setting sail on dreams. Well, how'd you like it, Serge? Were you moved? I've been dreaming about becoming a poet since I was little. I want to cross the continent and make a name for myself with just a pencil and paper. But look at me. I'm in this puny village in the middle of nowhere, waitressing in this rundown shack. What you say about my restaurant? You can quit any time, you know. Just kidding. I was just kidding. I was just saying how good the work environment is. What's the deal with this? No answer. Just a barrel. No answer. It's just a barrel. No answer. It's just a barrel. What do you want already? I said I'm just a barrel. Yes. Fine. Just take it, man. Here! in here. Hi, doggy. Oh, Jess. Surge found ivory helmet. Um. Aw, hi, buddy. And this part is important if you want to recruit a very funny character. So make sure you do this. Surge found a Hecron bow. Now, what was that about potionable? Liking Hecron bow? Let's go find out. This game is fantastic. I'm very excited to start this journey with everyone. And make sure you run this way first. Just because it unlocks some dialogue later. Um, so let's go up here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. You there. Ah! I is that a Hecron bone? Sergey Poo! Uh, a present? F for I? Don't you know? Hmm. To accept or not to accept? Ahem! Me accept your present, and me shall help you. Me will do anything you want. Me will be honored to be by your side. Me will use my pretty miracle power X. Me will do it, Sergi Poo. Poshul joins your party. Yay, Poshul! Sorry, I stole your dog. It's boring playing alone. Come on, Poshul, let's play. Me, I'm sorry. Me, I'm a bit busy right now. We'll play later, okay? How boring. Poshul just shoots right. I thought, excuse you? Alright. Well, let's see what's going on in here. Time sure does fly. Chief Radius has been living here for four years already. He is such a bright, cheerful man. Everyone in the village really likes him. I wish he could stay for forever. I wish he could stay here forever. Well, why can't he? Is it because he's old? 
these right here. If you want to record what you've done so far, step up to the record of fate and open up the menu. Then select the block you want and follow the directions to save. Easy, isn't it? Maybe you should go look for another one. I'm going to be here for a while. Oh yeah, and if you go out onto the world map, you can save without the record of fate. No cutting in line, sir. It's back in the line. I'm sorry. What's over here? Search found cure behind the frame. All right. Oh, it's you, Serge. I think the chief is outside. He said he was going to teach some self-defense. He may be old, but he still has some fight left in him. You kids better not misbehave or else the chief will have to go crack down on you all. We came all the way out here in search of the legendary treasure, but our funds ran out. Once I'm done cleaning in here, I've got I have some yard work to do. We've got to do something to cover our expenses. If I knew this was going to happen, I would have tried to persuade Sir Toma to look for a treasure on the Xenon continent. Oh teasers for games that never would happen. Sad, sad day. Who are you? Yo, my name's Toma the 14th, but people usually put the Great Explorer in front of my name. The Great Explorer Toma. Okay. I was just looking around for treasure. I have a sixth sense, you know. No, I wasn't gardening. I, uh, was really looking for treasure. Okay. Looks like you're just gardening. Uh, if you're brand new to the game, go talk to Radius. The old guy's standing there. He will teach you about combat, how to defend, how elements work. Basically what I ran through. to equip Mr. S Sergi Poo with the helmet, and then get some elements allocated out. I think Poshul is yellow. Um, so let's put those in there. I need Serge to have an offensive one himself. So we'll do that. Tally Ho. This first episode is going to be a long one, just because I want to get this all stuff done and out of the way. But, we'll stop here. Thank you all so much for watching. We will see just how angry Lena is. And anything else that may happen in the next episode of us spelunking through Chrono Cross. Thank you so much, everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>